comes over, um, basically what I'm going to do. You know, it's the, the advantage of, you know, getting the experience, but now it's um, going to be, okay, what am I going to do with it? Really desperately trying to find a job, but I just don't know what I'm going to do because if I do get a job, then I'm not going to get help paying for my child care. I'm 30 years old, and I am from San Francisco my entire life. Um, currently, I'm with the Jobs Now uh, program, and I'm working with the San Francisco Sheriff's Department with religious services. Back then, it was kind of easy to find a job, uh, and then like more when it got towards the later 2000s, it was kind of hard. Like the city jobs are like only six months to a year and you don't get to like stay on as a full time person working for the city, you know, because they got so many people trying to hold them jobs down and that you go to work every day and do everything you need to do, but you still don't get the job for, you know, full time or part time because it's like so many people are waiting in line, they're waiting for the next person, they don't want to just hire you and give you all that money when they got a thousand other people where they could just pay this little minimum wage stuff to and then you know they don't have to really owe them all this money and benefits or anything like that because they could just move right on to the next person. So when I was with CalWorks I worked at the Sheriff's Department. I had a really good resume. Um, I have attended City College so I did my AA in criminal justice so that was a great job there. Um, but even then, when I got let go in the summer of 2016, I had received a letter months after I had uh, let go that uh, I was no longer a part of the Sheriff's Department. And clearly there was a miscommunication because I was let go long before that letter got to my house. If I get a regular job, then I won't get any, I won't get help with my school, I won't get help with my child care, you know, so, but if I continue to go to school, then I will get that, but I'll be wasting time, so I just feel really conflicted right now, you know, and, and it, had they, had they helped me while I was in CalWORKs, while I was going to school, finding a permanent job, then I wouldn't be in this situation, you know, they, they basically just left me to my own, you know, devices, and they didn't, they weren't guiding me anywhere, you know, they don't follow up with you. And it's um, it was just really, really difficult because you were promised training, you were promised an opportunity to look for another job, you were promised to stay there longer than a year, but it rarely happens. And the blocks that are the situations that made it more difficult is childcare. Childcare was so difficult. They give you places where you could go put your kids in, but if you pay attention, some of these places are not even good. We're doing a job and doing everything we need to do that. We'll have a job, you know, within the next six months to a year, two, three years, you know, long-term job. It would be great if they would offer training um, and more hours, perhaps 40 hours where I can get benefits, where I can grow within the company or, you know, three years from now, be at a higher level position, not just be treated like, like I owe them something, not just a part-time, you know, being a part-time member only gives you no benefits and you have to subdue yourself with transportation. That's if you're even able to get through childcare from point A to B to C and you hope not to lose your way. We all have a story, we all have different situations that we're in, and some of us really are trying. We are trying to better ourselves. We don't want to be, you know, on getting welfare for the rest of our lives. I don't, you know, but it's scary because it's just so expensive here.